Hello, welcome back to Yokum Arts. I'm working on making a big pot and I figured because of something that I've never done before I might I as well make a video of it. So what I'm doing is I'm making a big pot for, uh, for a house plant. But because I grossly underestimated the amount of clay I needed, when I first threw it, I got about three inches of height and I'm gonna need at least 10 inches of height. So I decided might as well try coiling and coil building. So I will just kind of talk about what I'm doing, how I'm approaching it and hopefully it's interesting. So I've got these coils Basically what I'm doing, I just wet that and keep in mind, I have never actually learned how to do this. I am just going based on what I've seen. So I'm just kind of pinching it and I did wet the top of the cylinder so that way the clay can um, bind to it and stick better. I'm just kind of pinching it down, going around. I just think this coil might be a little too small, but that's okay. Oh, that's not good. So I need a little more. It's actually just about perfect. I'll just pinch that off. So what I'm doing is once I meet the coils, once I put the coils together, I just kind of smooth them into each other where they meet. So that way it's like one piece. Nice. And that got kind of bellied out. And then what I'm gonna do is go around on the inside and I'm just gonna smooth the coil into the wall of the pot. I'm not worrying about making it perfect right now because I'm going to add water and actually throw it in just a second. But this will at least get it more attached to the wall of the pot. And now, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but on the outside.
that's looking pretty good right now. Now I'm gonna grab my sponge and I'm gonna really wet just this coil that I just added. I don't wanna wet the rest of the pot too much because I don't want that to get too soft. So I'm just wetting my sponge and just holding it there to get it nice and damp, ready to throw. I actually used the sponge on the outside because the sponge is still wet. Just to help, don't want the glue going too fast. Just to help smooth out that connection. So right now I'm not really worrying about actually throwing and pulling the walls up at all. I'm really just trying to get to smooth out the, um, the ridges from my fingers. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna clean off the sponge, and do the same thing on the inside. Just really try to smooth that out. looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna wet it again. And I am not super experienced at making big pots like this, so this is fun. I like trying new things. All right, now I'm gonna throw it just like normal, slowly. feeling pretty good so now and I've been using two different ribs for this just because I want the sides to be nice and flat but it needs to flare out so it needs to be a little wider than it is now once it's complete so I'm using this rounded rib for the inside and that's just easier to grip, easier to hold on to the wall and smooth that out. And then I've been using this flat wooden rib on the outside. So, let's start that. I'm starting lower than I need to here, or lower than the seam, the connection point. Just slowly working my way up to it. It's a little tricky because the coil is not flat. So once I get to the top, it's, um, it's a little trickier to work on, but that's okay, I'm learning. I'm gonna start all the way at the bottom. That's how I've been 
attaching the coils, it seems to be working pretty good. Um, now, in order to even out the, the rim for the next coil, I use my needle tool and just cut it off. Just like a normal wood, I'm gonna spin it a few times to find the point so I can cut off as little clay as possible. Because I want to keep as much height as I possibly can here. And just slowly add more pressure with the needle. Until I can feel the point with my finger on the inside. And then I'll still hold it there for one or two turns. All off. Just like that. Alright. So, I'm gonna keep going on this. I'm learning as I go, so hopefully, you were able to learn something too. And until next video.